Greetings folks. I wanted to show you really quickly one of my favorite tools in the workshop. A homemade solder fumes extractor. It's simply a piece of cardboard which I bent into a rectangular shape. I put a muffin fan in there and I did hot glue a grill over it to protect my fingers and also to protect from sticking wires in there. It has to be about six inches to four inches from the smoke to get most of it. The air comes in this way and inside is activated carbon media. The stuff is relatively cheap. I cut it into a shape that would fit in here and it zigzags like this. It's a little hard to see because it's closed up inside the box but it zigzags back and forth like that. And on the exhaust I have a little extra kind of stuff there. And it's it catches a lot of the poisonous smoke that comes out. Even if you use lead free solder, you need a solder fumes extractor. It just isn't healthy to sit there breathing that stuff day in and day out. I wouldn't even breathe it once if I could avoid it. In addition to that, you should have a true HEPA filter in the room while you're soldering because this isn't going to catch everything. What it will do is get most of the bad fumes away from you quickly so they're not right up in your face. If you have time and you do a lot of soldering and you don't want to pay, you know, 50 bucks, this was the cost of the fan and a little bit of carbon media. You can have this build in like 10 minutes and it is worth every bit of effort you put into it. Yes, they have more advanced ones you can buy, but I made this one almost for free. And it's been serving me well for many years now. And I assume a lot of people who solder probably know the fumes aren't good for you. But they may not necessarily know how easy it is to make something that's going to improve your health and protect your health. So I'm just making a quick video to show you how I made it. This is a 12 volt muffin fan and it's being powered by a leftover power supply I had. And draws very little power. In addition to that I have a 2.1 millimeter plug. So that if I want to I can power it off of another power supply such as a battery or just anything I have laying around if AC power is not available. If you do a lot of soldering, I highly recommend you take the time to make yourself a simple solder fumes extractor and you just want to get as much of that activated carbon in there as you can and make the smoke pass through as many layers of it as you can so that hopefully most of it gets caught in this filter and whatever's left in the air will be grabbed by your HEPA filter if you have one. I hope this video helps someone. Thanks for watching. Well, I hope this video didn't bore you too much, but for those of you who hung on to the end, here is a quick sneak peek at another project that I started up on the side. I finally had time to do it. I'm cracking into lithium batteries. These are all recycled batteries that I've been processing, and I hope to have a video or multiple videos up soon about these. And here are some more shots of the other batteries. It's going to take a while to go through all these, but I'll release a video soon showing all the details. And boy, did my thumbs hurt from cracking open all these batteries. If you've done it before, you know it's quite a tedious process. Okay, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.